Sush will open up with a headshot on Snacks, clearing out Abs, which is great. Edward to follow up, and look at this. Navi destroying versus Pro in this round. And that will be it. Guardian to shut it down with a double kill. Sush with a double kill. <laughs> no chance at all, Semler. I'm wondering who was shouting there, because that was like through two closed doors. We just heard somebody shout. So Navi getting pumped up. Everything going according to plan there. Zeus pushes into Palace, sets up and actually wins out that duel. So he's getting information. He wins that duel. And then he's able to actually catch the guys coming out of pit. So just Zeus really a thorn in VP side that round. If you kill the guy who's playing the apps part of that push on A, it's almost like sticking, you know, just having a stick and putting it in the wheel, in someone's wheel on their bicycle or something. It's, it's so detrimental. Because all of a sudden the people that are playing right here where the camera is, what are they going to do? They were relying on that one guy to come out of apps and help out, and suddenly there's a, an enemy there instead. You can't, really, you can't really do that. It's just really confusing. So good job on Navi's side. And um, VP, in response, have oh. bought no armor, but a bunch of pistol and grenades. They've got Molotovs as well. This is madness. Seuss will open up, gets one, gets two. And Guardian to help out as well. The lack of armor, I'm just, I think they just wanted to get in and get the bomb down this round. And they had the Molotovs maybe to try and buy time. But um, there's a bit of a stretch. I would say, a bit I, of a stretch. What can you say apart from like, ugh, that hurts. Just watching that, that hurts. And they, I mean, the worst part is, is that you can see at the beginning, before this push even began, Taz and Snacks, they were both so low, having eaten a nade. So it's just like Zeus goes in and mops up, and you lose half the push there on VP's side. So I'm not really sure about this, and it looks like, again, VP, you know, gathering up for an A push. This time changing yeah. it up, another variation of an A take. Well, I do like the fact that they've purchased these just two flashbangs. This mm -hmm. can be just fine. This could give them a bomb plant if they just get into the site and manage to control it well enough here. Flamey does drop the bomb carrier. I think the bomb drops on top there as well. That's a really, really unfortunate place for the bomb to go down. No issue at all. Only Sue's going down. Great job there on, on the Na'Vi side. But again, the, the $400 investment into flashbangs, pretty good idea. Disgusting. I mean, Zeus getting all those MP7 kills. He's up mm. at 8,000 now. Oh, uh, please. No problem at all. Just rebuying everything he needs. He even has a cushion after that. I mean, the money right now is just terrific on Navi's side. So close. And Guardian, he's not going for the AWP. He's going for the scout. All right, this is wild. Gonna stick with it. Not even, like, throw it away and, and rebuy something else. As, I mean, he, this is just like, you can now peek so quickly oh, with it. You just full out speed. That's a really cheeky position from Redwood. And they're gonna come looking into underpass, and Edward will already be here looking for the headshot on someone. Falls back, safety. And he's got three people in middle here. A lot of mid control for Navi, which it should be a problem for VP if that continues. Yeah, nobody from VP actually expected the aggressive push to be coming up from Navi as well through mid. They didn't have anybody to really kind of capitalize on the fact that Edward was down an underpass to try and catch him as he comes back up, trying to get back into connector. Instead, VP are the ones who are just lying in wait all across this map. So 55 seconds left in this round, and we see once again the bomb being dropped over in T-spawn closer to A. So this is looking like it might be turning into an A play here for Virtus yeah. Pro. Unless they're just setting up for a fake. They're going to throw yeah, out yeah. the smokes, set, up to, set this up to make it look like this is going to be a yet another A play, grab that bomb and run over to B. Yeah, look at this. They're going to smoke all the way from B apartments as well into middle, in towards the window room. This is a really cool smoke and one that's worth knowing as well. Mayali ready to take a fight there. They go smokes in the middle. They're going to land window and connector. So a big indication normally that there'd be mid control followed up by an A plane. You can see Navi, they're reading this. They're thinking, wait a minute, but Edward gets caught out. He was ready to rotate in and help out at A and he gets caught on catwalk. He is seized with a oh. great double spray down to close out Pasha and Taz. Looking for a third kill here is the Russian player coming around the corner, picks it up and oh, almost could have got that spray down, but Seuss will steal at the end. Great round here from Na'Vi. Really uh, nice adjustment, because they actually were buying that A push to begin with, but as soon as they saw the people on catwalk, they realized something was up. Yeah, they pushed out into mid, and that was actually, I believe it was Guardian. I'm not entirely sure. I think it was Guardian, who just jumped out of window as soon as that smoke came in. So they already had somebody on the other side of that smoke in mid before it even went off in window. It wasn't like he was blocked and then hesitating and then trying to listen for steps. He was already in position to pick up on what was actually happening. And VP, this time around, they're looking to catch out. Perhaps if Edward decides to push into underpass, they would have, he would have got swamped. Instead, it's Zeus going to step out at the perfect time, and he drops the bomb carrier as well. They know exactly what's happening here, Navi. Yeah, a bunch of... Uh, oh, Pasha actually does get that kill on Edward. I was going to say, there's a bunch of unarmored targets in the middle, uh, which is great for that submachine gun. But nice, easy cleanup round here for Navi. They're looking really strong to begin with, and their money is showing it as well. Definitely starting to build a pretty decent bank on everyone except Edward, in fact. Zeus at 10, 1, and 1. All right. Yeah, and a lot of those have been... Well, I mean, initially, MP7 kills. Then he comes in with the M4. 
I mean, it's like they still have so much cash. VP life is just so difficult for them. And what do VP decide to do in this round to try and change things up, to try and catch Na'Vi out? They go for a double op. But then Na'Vi do the same, or practically. They go for an op on Edward, and Garden still houses his scout. He's still using the same scout. Well, if it, um, if it ain't broke. Oh, look at this from Bialy. Spots out Flamey, goes for the spray, wins out the duel. Zeus gonna get caught as well. That perfect timing on the flash to save Bialy. We're just going to be back around the corner, but this is such a big opening made here from Bayali. Double kill on him. Guardian going to take him down with a scout finally. Still going to be a tough retake for Na'Vi right now. Versus Pro got into the bomb sign and put that bomb down. Smoke going to clear in the middle. Edwards here with the AWP, but he's not quite quick enough there. And Neo will take him down. Taz burning alive in the corner. Still going to be very, very rough as Guardian goes down. It's all unseized and he's just walking into the site. He had a smoke. Uh, it could actually be interesting to see if he could have made that smoke diffuse work if you just if you just stuck it. Mm -hmm. um, regardless, good round from VP, and they make that work. But this was all. I mean, this is it's like not scrimmy play, but just the fact that he manages to sneak out without showing anything at all. No nades, nothing to alert Navi to his presence. Bialy just kind of gets in there and then guts the defense on A. And from there on out, Navi are just rotating. They're trying to get out into the open, and everywhere they go, VP are waiting, and they just end up losing all those duels. So. Navi still have so much money in the bank, though. It's not going to be that big of a deal for them. They're going to be able to full buy here, no problem at all. VP, though, that's the kind of round that needs to happen. They need to just close it out, keep a lot of people alive. You know, three people, that's fine. And they need to close out this one solid as well to really start getting, uh, getting Navi into the danger zone. And would making his way down to the ladder room. Obviously going to be a bit of an A push coming out here from the Virtus Pro side, but with a bit of a switch up in the sense that they've got two people middle who might be able to sandwich in through connector. One of them going to go back in, or they're just wasting time here. Molotov goes in through window, and 50 seconds left. Snacks actually leading the charge with the AWP and Flamey to shut down both of them, and then the Molotov out. So pretty much perfect play coming out here from the young player. And Edward will clear out Neo in the middle, so whatever sandwich was about to be cooked up here from the VP side. It's not working any longer. Yeah, Taz, I mean, doing the best that he can, but it's not going to be good enough when Guardian is just holding that line with that AWP. Not going to be able to get through. I think Flamey Man is the main hero there. That that round, the fact that he was able to control the spray, completely flank out two guys coming in from pit, that also eliminates Taz's pressure completely because he can't really get out there. He's walking into a crossfire. Just really nicely done there by Flamey. And this is pretty much worst case scenario now for VP. This is starting to get into that into that really difficult position of, great, you know, we won a round, but now we're just going to be able to feed Navi so that they can recover from the money that they've lost after losing that round. Now Navi are just farming up here. More money in the bank for them, and it just gets so much more difficult now for VP to have an impact. Taz will end up going down as the last player. Flamey getting at one. Seven to one. And um, we'll have to see if they can continue on this streak. I mean, we did say Navi are pretty good at playing this map, and they showed us much yesterday, but this is starting to get a little bit absurd almost. Now this, I mean, this is now uh, absurd, circus. I mean, just... It's like whack-a-mole right now. Navi, they're using a mace. And Flamey, and I like how Navi are constantly changing up the positions they're holding from as well. Now Flamey, you know, instead of being get right, guess what? He's shadowed. There's actually a double there because Zeus is there as well to support him. Zeus actually going to be pushing around, kind of trying to make some noise. But you have the nades coming in here towards the A side. Seas is going to be able to rotate in fairly quickly. Not going to have the biggest impact because of that smoke going down. He's going to just YOLO right through, though, trying to close that angle. And Zeus seized, each picking up one kill. Flamey, however, not going to have an impact. Instead, it's seized with picking up another double kill. Three kills total for him. And Pasa now the last man alive here. He's got the bomb at his feet, but it's a 1v3. This is an incredibly difficult situation for him. He has to win first. And catch out the second man. That's Edward in connector with Guardian holding at CT with that AWP. Pasha, can he land the headshot? That's what needs to happen here. He knows that they're trying to sandwich him in. Grenade that took him from 14 to 9. And then Navi was like Guardian picking up the kill through the box as well to take down Pasha. 8 and 1. And no bomb plan either for Virtus Pro. This is really tough at the moment. No, that's, I mean. This really is, man, the worst-case scenario. And you can see the frustration right now very clearly. Whereas Na'Vi, you know, you got C's grinning ear to ear. So everything going according to plan for Na'Vi. Like, they've completely written off cash. They're like, okay, we're going to lose that map anyway. Now we get into the Mirage. This is our turf. And VP are figuring out that this, that they aren't quite up to snuff right now.
And all of this with Flamey as well, you know, the, the new player who's just recently got signed by Na'Vi to replace Starks, who's now been put into more of a coach role. I mean, Flamey also stepping up and showing that he can get the kills. So Na'Vi are just looking very good right now in this best of three. Yeah, I'm really excited that they signed Flamey. Really smart move, I think, from the Na'Vi organization. Definitely a, a, a really good investment, in my opinion. Um, by Ali and Neo, two people left. They were setting up towards the B-bomb site, and I was about to say, um, maybe the maybe they should start looking at that B-bomb site, and maybe instead of going as slowly as they have been so far, trying to, you know, spice it up a bit, put a bit of speed behind it. It's possible to pull off really good B executes that are fast, really fast, um, and maybe Seize won't be able to deal with it. He's just checking around. There's a nice pop flash. That nearly caught Seize out. Is that Neo? Gonna go for the knife? Oh. There it is, buddy! <laughs> he nearly gets two. Edward gets some knife back, so they managed to stabilize. Not even mad. Seize is just giggling. <laughs> well, he's just twice Seize has been knifed in this best of three. Yeah, still got to give it the pasta, though. That was knifing with style. Slice, slice, stab, really? It was. And Edward is there for the, for the revenge kill. It's going to put us into the 11th round. A lot of uh, mid-presence from Virtus Pro, but they lost the first kill there to... Uh, Guardian, Pasha going down. Seuss very close, but Snax saw it coming. It's a really good idea, though. I love it. It's actually impressive that Snax realized that was happening because your focus is going to be on that window and the sniper up there. Grenade in from Neo. Guardian realizing he must be somewhat close. And <gasps> well, what? should be a free kill. Neo living <laughs> in spite of that. What was that? That looked dead on. How did he miss that shot, Guardian? Now Neo, he's going to be able to wreak havoc. He takes out Flamey. Edward finally able to find the angle and seized as well. That was actually the wall bang through the wood, it looked like. It they, was. They managed to stabilize here for Na'Vi, but... Edward got that kill all the way from Catwalk. Yeah. That's incredible. He's just going for the straight-up wall bang. Love it. Na'Vi don't really love... I mean, that was a bit too touch-and-go, and I think Guardian might be a little frustrated with himself there for missing that clean shot and losing a teammate because of it. So he's got to be a bit careful. He's got to keep his cool here. The remaining two members for VP just going to rush up from pit, trying to get their hands back on that bomb. Seized, holding. They're going to walk into the crossfire. And Guardian, he hits the shot midair on Snack. So making up for it somewhat. All right, then. Uh, this, is, this is turning into a really one-sided affair. What was that? Anymore. Look, he was on him. Yeah, I don't Did he know. move at the last second? And what? Can we see that again? Can we see it again? Please? Please? <laughs> what? One more time. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, there's a pause going on, in fact. Uh, I'm not sure what the, it's what time the for issue a meeting. is. It's time for a meeting. I think that's a, this is just a straight-up timeout. See? Yeah, timeout. So, VP, man, they're... Uh, well, I mean, if you're, if you're going to use your timeout, now's the time, right? I mean, you're 10-1. Your money's in shambles right now. You have to decide, do we... Do, I mean, you have to go for the buy. It seems like it, at least. Okay. But... I don't know. I'm not sure. 64 tick, please. I don't even... Yeah, I just... That looked... I mean, unless he moved uh, at the yeah, split second... It, it could have been that there was like a... He just shot moved through. just as he shot. Um, something else that VP have actually utilized in the past, which they haven't really done on on this, this Mirage so far, is trying to get a couple of people into... Or just actually one person into the ladder room um, that's adjacent to the window. Mm -hmm. um, just try and get someone in there. Try and see if you can leave that person there and then do whatever execute you want to do because uh, he's going to be instrumental. Picking out someone in window eventually, uh, maybe rotating back in towards B. There's a lot that could go on like that. I'm going to start calling ladder room Copenhagen games. What? <laughs> because of the Danish name for it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I give I'm on, up. I'm, on, I'm reaching out here. I'm on a reach. Copenhagen Games is located in a very uh, nice neighborhood. Oh, yeah, you're right. I you see. Know? And uh, the Danish name is also, you know, a very you know, very nice place. Yeah. I uh, know. I think we might lose people with this, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I see where you're getting. All the Danes getting. get it. Yeah, every Danish person. Like, All right. I understand. And the Swedes. Oh, they're taking that time here, Virtus Pro, talking it up. Navi are looking pretty satisfied. Edward in the middle, the beard, of course, just a terrific performance on uh, on Cash. And yesterday he was on fire as well. And there you have him, Pasha himself. Locked and loaded. 
So yeah, I'm, I'd like to see them try and go for a, for a bit of a, I mean, either a really fast style towards B or a bit of a tactical style towards um, towards that ladder room. But it looks like they're going to go for a m way more standard push towards A with Snacks going underpass. Um, not necessarily a bad idea. And I mean, there's a reason why this is such a standard play. It's because one good entry frag, or if the CTs are in the wrong position, and you're pretty much good to go. Guardian tips his hand in underpass, just revealing where he is. If Flamey goes down, this strat can definitely work. Edward is holding in mid as well, aggressive on Cat. He might come back here. He's going to hear steps from Pasha, so that, that could make things a little bit tricky here for Na'Vi, but they see the smokes going down on A site, and they have to know. I mean, they know three smokes have gone down to actually block things off. The Palace uh, smoke is down to block it as well. Guardian on that site, alive. And he does manage to pick up Bialy to start. And just Zeus laying into Neo. They're getting picked apart here, Virtus Pro. Although Pasha and Taz come back. Two big kills within Zeus. It's just turned into a trade battle here. And Pasha still looking for that shot. He's going to get it. Wall bangs Guardian down. Seized, however, hits the perfect timing. And we're into a 1v1. Incredibly close here between both of these teams. Yeah. Not a bad thing having Snatch left in a 1v1 at all. He's going to get into a position where he can get the bomb down. Seized coming in now. Full connector instead. Snacks. Realizing that, look at how bold he is, just up on the box looking for him, not trying to hide, not trying to see if he can cower away in a corner, just seeing if he can pick him off running in. Now he's in shadows, going to be walking out, does spot the player and the spray is going to connect. A great play from Snacks here, double kill in the round, and Virtus Pro will win their second round. So that timeout working out quite well for them. Yeah, the strategy, it plays out. And then Edward is just like, okay, spends that 7,000, left with 8,000 in the bank. They had another guy up on uh, 16. I mean, Navi actually having to spend quite a bit of that money. It's a good thing that they had both of those guys sitting on so much because now they, just drop, they, they drop fairly low. But you have two guys who drop like 7,500 in a single round on op, full gear, Kevlar, everything. So very expensive round coming out here from Navi. They're just looking to completely annihilate Virtus Pro and take this to 13 2. And. Oh, this is very great from Navi as well. Now they're trying to change it up. They're looking to, to catch the setup, and they don't quite get it. Virtus Pro, those smokes, they, they're set up in a position where even if the flash comes in and the aggressive push down pit, they don't get necessarily caught out. Neo's the only one who's exposed. Three people close to that slope. If VP pop these flashes and try and run up, they could... De I mean, this time, the setup from Navi is much better to deal with it. Well, it was until they start falling back here. The further back they fall towards CT spawn and connector, the worse it's going to be. Once again, it's, a lot of this is going to be down to Flamey, because Guardian is going to get smoked off, Zeus is going to get smoked off, and then Flamey has to do a lot of work in the middle. See the smokes raining in. His teammates going to be out of a job real soon. Flamey flashed in the corner. He goes down, and now it's open season here for Virtus Pro. Great execution towards this bomb site. Exactly what they needed. If Navi had stayed in their original positions, this wouldn't be possible. But it's all down to timing. Edward picks up Taz, and now, well, they're sort of walking into it here. Guardian, and the smoke is clear. They took too long. By only going to get a return kill, but now it's three v three. Pasha taking his time, getting Edward. Seuss dropping as well, and he's seized and Guardian left. They're looking for the wallbang on Bialy as well, but he manages to sneak out of there. Seized is going to get caught out by Pasha, and it's now just Guardian alone. 1v3 with an AWP. Gets the wallbang shot, but he's not going to get the kill, and Pasha manages to outflank him. Virtus Pro, after that timeout, have turned it around. Three rounds on the board now for them after yet another A take. Like, they're just not even shaking. They're not even shaking it up, really. They go for a smoke into short. They're trying to, to make Edward guess a little bit, but it's still just A, a take after A take here for the Polish team. And the timing is crazy good for them to do it as well. They wait outside A just long enough that Navi give up on having the, the really tight defense on that bomb site. And then once Navi say, well, let's go and check back on middle. Let's make sure that they're not grouping out outside of B. Let's get a little bit closer. That's when they hit A. See if they could do it again. This time, it's only two people here, though, and the bomb is pretty far back. So it's look more like a standard spread coming out right now from Virtus Pro, just seeing where they can go with it. I mean, standard spread, but eventually they do work their way back to A. So it really does seem like VP, now that they found out what works, they're just going to keep hitting it. And Na'Vi not really making the adjustments. They're not going for two guys holding up close, like a guy in shadow and a guy in get right, you know, or, or sandwich, right? They're not doing that. They're, they're still holding very far back, very passively, essentially trusting in their ability to retake. And look again, this time it's not Flamey who's alone, it's actually Seuss inside the smoke perimeter. Now backup is coming through, great move from Flamey, he actually walks in, but he gets taken out by Taz, it was a nice idea, he wanted to help out Seuss before he got left alone, he'd already been in that position himself twice and realized it's not a lot of fun either, Seuss will go down, Edward finally to get a kill, but Virtus Pro, they're finding the timing perfectly here. Seuss is 
making some really good calls. What? Okay. What? And then Neo with the return. What's happening? Neo gets a double as well. The Guardian obviously got two and one and now seized versus Neo. Bomb is going to go down. Ten seconds left here. He has time to fake it once, but now he kind of has to commit to it very soon. And the timing, how's it going to be seized? Can't see him from his position. So the bomb will go down three seconds. And now he's trapped behind the box. Is he going to realize? Does he show himself? Neo, he's playing this so patiently. Steps out, takes the fight, and seized wins out against him. So there you have it. Seized with the man, I mean, just locking it down. And that, in that situation, I was like, this is actually where Navi needs to just run away and save. Unless Guardian, and I'm just about to put it together, right? Unless Guardian can get a kill very quickly here, and then he just delivers and gets a double. Wow. 11 to 3. 15th round coming up, the last of the half here. Absolute must win for, for, for VP. Even at five rounds, I, I think that's cutting it a little bit close. But five or six is, is like somewhere where you want to be. Four or three, not it's so much. not much cushion to work with. I mean, 11 4 just means that Navi have clearly won their CT side. Wow, okay. And yeah, Guardian showing that, hey, those aggressive peaks. Yeah, no problem. He can still make it work. Edward is there to hold off short as well, and they just get completely smacked versus Pro. I mean, they're getting picked apart. Bialy and B Apartments. He's gone, and now it's Taz and Pitt, and they're already closing in on this position. Although, they decide to fall back into Connected. They're just completely converging on this bomb. All five members for Navi are just sitting on this pack. They're like, all right, minute 12. We'll go ahead and kick up our heels and wait for you, bud. What a result from Navi. So, I mean, one, somewhat one-sided match playing on cash. 16-6 victory for... Uh, for Virtus Pro, then turning it around, Navi on the first half at least here, going completely nuts. And uh, it's going to be hard for V3 to come back into this flamey to finish the half. Good half is called, and um, I don't know, I think Virtus Pro are expecting something more here. I think so as well. Anything you can see? Well, Virtus Pro always look frustrated, but I'm thinking they're, uh, they're kind of uh, a little ticked off right now. Just because of how, I mean, how they seem to be getting momentum, and they were they were one round away from from basically forcing Navi either to eco or into a save situation where yeah. Guardian delivers with the one and two shot, like that is just so big that saves Navi because if they had lost that round or if they had lost more than a couple of those rifles, they were ecoing or going for this awkward force buy in the fifteenth round. So great save there by Guardian to keep his team in it and ahead. And Navi need this as well because they're currently down one zero in this series. Now let's see how far they can push it here versus Pro. If they can win the pistol, it's possible then to fight back a long while. We've, it's rare that we see a 12-3 come back on, on CT side in a Mirage. I mean, it's a CT side in map, but still, that would be quite impressive. Snacks is about to see so much action. It's going to be unreal. He does have 20 bullets, and he's playing near Smoke, which is his home base. So let's just take a moment and breathe, because this is the calm before the storm. Everything is going to be on this moment for VP. Another smoke goes up, and they just defuse it by taking him out right through the smoke. Grenade in, does decent damage, but that was that was on Snacks a lot of it. <laughs> I love it. They guard it. They probably realized when they saw the angle of that smoke, they're like, wait a second. Everybody there, and then it's just a firing squad in Kitchen. Flamey manages to overwhelm Bialy in the end. Taz gets caught before he can have any kind of an impact. That Navi just completely steamroll Virtus Pro in this round. All of it off of Snacks, playing a bit too close to the edge there. They just look at them. I mean, they've got to be giggling. Yeah. It's just the it's underhand. Like, it didn't bounce off a wall or anything. It just kind of like boop, dropped at their feet. Navi, like all five of them are just sitting there, like, wait. <laughs> Who do we know playing B bombs like <laughs> really likes, you know, playing near the smoke? Oh, that's awesome. Well, I, that's perfect for Na'Vi. And it's a complete catastrophe for Virtus Pro. They needed that pistol round desperately. Now, I mean, we can see it. Hard eco. So this is going to be like an SMG rifle buy in the next round. They have to go for something big, Virtus Pro. Yeah, Flamey opening up with some pretty decent headshots. And not much of a chance here for, for VP. Those seized will fall. And Flamey's looking for even more kills on his uh, scoreboard. Wow, well, yeah, he's getting them. Another one. Can he get a four? Yes, he can. Can he get the anti-eco beatdown ace? He's go. He's going for it. Whoa. Gets headshot though. Flamey, better be careful. You want to hold on to that AK. Don't give it up for free. So close. It's like only now that they're actually taking the bomb over to the side. Like, whoa, yeah. Yeah, we do have to go for this plant at some point. Snacks going to run right into Susan and this ends up going down. So not even a bomb plant needed. 14 to 3. Still... Too soon to call it. We're gonna see. We're gonna have to see some miraculous plays coming out from Virtus Pro, and it starts right here. As you call it, Semler. Uh, they will obviously have to force up in this round, otherwise they're playing for overtime, and that's that's no fun. 
Well, can you go, you know, like, what, 12 rounds in a row versus Navi? I mean, their T side is pretty polished as well. And this is a very solid. Two guys in window just completely demolishing that push at top mid. Guardian and Edward both getting overwhelmed. Wow. The Lurk coming in from Flamey. Bialy's there. And yeah, there's nothing to take away from this apart from Virtus Pro, that initial opening frag. Okay, it's the Polish firing squad. Yeah, that was brutal. That was also just a straight up confidence play by Virtus Pro. They're like, all right, we're going to sit here. And if anybody shows themselves, we're just going to completely smack them down because they had two guys in window and Taz in connector. So just three guys staring at top mid, waiting for somebody to peek. 14 to 4, one round at a time, right? That's the, the phrase that we keep repeating. Something that um, not to help popularize uh, once we were casting with him, actually, way back in the day. Um, yeah, one round at a time, that's the mentality that uh, they need to adopt here versus Pro. And they're capable of it. I mean, the experience on this team right now, more than a decade of... I mean, more than a decade of experience between Taz and Neo, just between the two of them having played together for that long. It's insane, the history that those two have. And then, of course, Pasha snacks Bialy. And Flamey, the new gen, who's coming in with a headshot onto Neo. So, bringing it back to a four-on-four. Four. They get regain control here somewhat, Virtus Pro. They've got that MP9 on snacks as well, so I know he's itching to use it, but he's over on the B site. Not spotting anybody quite yet. It's still Navi kind of controlling mid, taking advantage of the smoke that they, dropped, they, that they just dropped down in uh, Connector, but window is open, so they can't really push up short. Edward almost caught with his pistol out then, but not quite. Flamey going to return the frag, and it will be a 3v3. Navi moving closer if they win this round. will be devastating to versus pro. It's already a problem that they they keep losing players. They want that strong economy. So in the event they lose a round, they can just keep fighting forever and ever. And if they head over to the B-bomb site, Snacks has got maybe not the most uh, ideal weapon for this position, but it might work. Oh, I mean, the jumping MP9. It, this spits out bullets so quickly. There's the first one. Running, running gun. gun. And he's just doing so much damage. Look at that. He's dropped them down to 38 and 25. Those guys were at full HP. That is ludicrous. Wow, but Flamey, that's another round with a quad kill, and they've almost all been headshots. It's up to Bayali now, trying to see if he can save it. Flamey doesn't care that he only has 25 health. Hiding by benches. Bayali, I think, are spotted. Put that jump from behind there. Guardian saw it coming, and now Flamey, he didn't get the H last time. He's going to go this time. Going to get denied again as Bayali takes him out. Bomb ticking away. There is a kit on him. But Guardian is trying to play for time, just duking around this, and there's a headshot from the Tech 9. Well played. And that's going to be Navi now at map point. <laughs> that was brutal. I was like, sit down, Viali, sit down. That's it. This map is ours. You did this to cash to us. Now we're going to do it to you on Mirage and, get, and then Inferno, the last map in this best of three. And it's looking highly likely now that we'll see it. So rifles just forced up on both sides here. Virtus Pro now battling back. They have to get 11 rounds in a row to take it to overtime and close this series. And already Snacks, aggressive push and underpass gets denied by, Sne by Seized. Pasha, however, pushes mid and takes out Edward. Edward, a little bit more lackluster, you know, considering his performance on cash. We aren't quite seeing the, the big plays from him here. Man, it's looking so tough. I, you never want to call it early, but I'm not seeing VP really doing this. They, they're not playing with a lot of confidence. They're, they seem to be playing more sort of reaction style. They're sort of waiting around for what Navi are doing, and then once it happens, they try and adjust to it. Mm. And that may sound like a reasonable plan, but actually what we've seen in the past on, on Cash, or sorry, on Mirage especially, is that you do want to be this, the team on the CT side to try and, you know, put a little bit of aggression in, get a little bit more information, because otherwise it can be so rough. Seuss winning that fight in spite of the fact that he was flashed. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Now man advantage for Na'Vi. They've got gear as well. Smokes go down. There's a man in shadow, man on electric flame. He annihilates Taz, but then Viali lurking. He's going to pick up that kill. Guardian knows he's here, however. And they're waiting to see because Seized is currently on a mission from Palace and he could potentially drop down onto Bialy if he hits the timing right. Neo steps in, but Seized hits the headshot and now they know they're going to close on him and they just completely overwhelm Bialy. Not a thing he could do in that situation. Yeah, great play there, really nicely. They almost, they almost ended up using um, Bialy as bait. They knew that Neo was going to come in to help him. So like, as long as we keep him in, Neo must show up at some point. And then, you know, Neo comes in, they kill him and then they know where the bait is. So. Kind of, kind of a fun trick there from Na'Vi. That's going to mean the second map going in their favor. Going to put us onto a third map, which will be in Inferno. Yeah, looking fantastic there, Na'Vi. Just one-sided match, another one-sided match, and now we go into Inferno, where I'm hoping it's like dead 50-50 and we're going to get 30 rounds.
Yeah, it's a map they both play really well, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be a, a really intense game, actually. Yeah. No, no doubt about it. I mean, clearly the... Um you know, the players on uh, on uh, Virtus Pro are hitting shots as well. Now it's just a question of, you know, like, ironing things out. They didn't really have anything going for them on their on their T side. We saw just, like, A, a take after A take yeah. after A take, and the, no real variety coming off from Virtus Pro, apart from, like, the timing, really. And yeah. it worked for them a couple of times, but they were never really able to break through. Navi just had so much money their entire CT half. That, you know, and then you lose the pistol as well in the second half. It's just like, okay, first pro might as well just, all right, we're going to focus on Inferno now. That's it. Like, we're, we're not going back 11 rounds in a row here. Yeah, really hard to deal with. So in that, in that competition and talk about who the, the best, in, you know, Mirage team is, mm. quite a clear uh, difference right now between Navi and, and VP, it seems. <sighs> but before we get into the third map, we're going to have a quick break. Stay with us. We'll